On this problem, we're going to be considering some one-sided limits. So on the first one, as x approaches 3 with that plus sign up above it, what that means is we are approaching from the right. From the right of values just a little bit bigger than 3. And as we look at the second one, as x approaches 3 with that little negative sign, what that means is from the left. So in general, as we do these, what I'm going to do is we want to think about what's going to happen if our denominator either becomes very big. So let's think about if we have a number in our numerator divided by a very large number. Well, if you're dividing by a very large number, what's going to happen is the denominator gets very large, then our fraction overall becomes very, very small or approaches zero. But let's think about what if we have a number divided by a very small value. Well, what's going to happen here is the overall fraction becomes a very large number, or it basically approaches infinity. So let's think about it in our specific case here. If we were approaching from the right-hand side, those would be values a little bit larger than 3. So think 3.1 or 3.01 or 3.001. All of these values are getting progressively closer to 3 from the right-hand side. Well, what would happen if we plug these in first to the numerator? Well, we have negative 5 multiplied by 3.1. Okay, well, a little bit bigger than negative 15. What if we multiply by 3.01 in for x there? What about 3.001? Well, what we're going to see is this progressively gets closer and closer to a negative 15, right? We're getting really close to plugging in an actual value of 3. But what about our denominator? This is even more important. Well, if we plugged in 3.1 for the denominator, let's think about that. 3.1 minus 3 is going to be 0 0.1, and it will be raised to the 11th power. But what about 3.01, the next value progressively closer to 3 from the right-hand side? 3.01 minus 3 makes 0 0.01 raised to the 11th. And then one more, if we plugged in 3.001, we get 0 0.001 raised to the 11th in our denominator. Well, what's happening there is we're getting a very, very small value in our denominator. But the most important thing is it's small, but it's a positive small value. And when we raise it to the 11th, it becomes that much smaller. Okay, so what's happening here is we have a negative 15 divided by a very small number. We're thinking that needs to go to infinity based on these rules that we set up earlier, right? Some number divided by a very small number. However, in this case, we have to be careful. We have a negative in our numerator divided by a positive value on our denominator. So let's, let's refresh our memories. We have a negative divided by a positive. Overall, that's going to be a negative value. So we'd say in this first case, we're going to be approaching negative infinity. Next, let's think about approaching from the left-hand side. If we approach from the left-hand side, we're going to pick values to the left of 3. So think 2.9, maybe 2.99, maybe 2.9. 9, 9, we're getting closer and closer to 3 from the left-hand side. But what happens when we, uh, we plug them into the denominator? Because we're not really worried about the numerator, right? It's going to get close to negative 15 again. But what about our denominator? 2.9 minus 3 is negative 0 0.1, and eventually that will be erased to the 11th power. 2.99 is negative 0 0.01 to the 11th and negative 0 0.001 to the 11th for the 2.999. Well, what's happening in our denominator in this case is we have a very uh, small value, but it's a negative small value raised to the 11th power. And when we raise the negative value to the 11th power, it's still going to be a very small negative value. So this time, we're thinking, well, we have a number divided by a very small number. We're approaching infinity again, just like our rule state. But we have negative 15 in our numerator divided by when we take a negative number and raise it to an odd power, we still get a negative number. So when we have a negative 
divided by another negative, overall this is going to be positive. So in our case it's going to be positive infinity is what we're going to approach. So as you're thinking about these, you have to be concerned about are we going from the left hand side or from the right hand side? And are we dividing by a very large number? Or are we dividing by a very small number? All right, on top of that, you just have to be careful about positives or negatives to make sure you're going to the, the correct direction, right? Positive or negative infinity. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck as you're working through these one-sided limits.